All right, hope everyone's having a wonderful day today. Today, what I got in store is gonna be opening up and checking out and giving my first review and impression of this deck box I have. This is for trading card games. I'm gonna be using it for the game Magic the Gathering, but you could really use it for whatever trading card game you want. This is a deck protection pro line deck box. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the plastic part on it and go ahead, just remove everything from it and get out all the literature on there. Let's see. So this is the box itself. We'll go check that out in a minute. First, I just want to check out what all this says. So this says, holds up to 75 double sleeve cards. I'm going to be testing this with uh, double sleeve, single sleeve, and unsleeved cards to see how many it fits. Two interchangeable compartments, which fits all Proline deck boxes. Too bad I don't have a Proline deck box, but I'm going to be trying an Ultra Pro deck box to see if it fits inside there instead. Perfect for standard size cards, 66 millimeters by 92 millimeters, which I believe is just uh, the size of Magic the Gathering cards. Uh, this is Dex Protection Pro Line. First compartment holds 75 double sleeve cards. Uh, I guess that's the bigger compartment. Second compartment holds dice, uh, extra sleeves and other accessories. So I think that's the second compartment right there. Uh, or maybe it's talking about this part with all the dice in it. Reinforced magnets for superior uh, protection. It is a magnet box. I'm not a huge fan of magnets, but we're going to go ahead and check it out anyway. Dex protection is setting a standard in high quality, affordable game accessories. This Proline deck box is pinnacle in storage and protection for trading card games. All Proline deck boxes have uh, reinforced exterior for extra durability, along with separate compartments to keep your accessories organized. When you're serious about protection, there's no substitute for Dex Protection Pro Line Deck Box. So they have protection in their name, so you better hope that this is quite protected. Let's check out the last uh, two little slides on here. Uh, the Pro Line by Dex Protection is recommended for use when, uh, with playing cards and game accessories. We recommend using standard size playing cards to ensure the best possible results. Proline Series deck box holds up to 75 single or double sleeve cards. It is not recommended the user to put more cards than suggested amount. Um, so they're telling you don't put more than suggested, probably because the magnets could open easier. Dex protection is not liable for any damage caused by Proline deck boxes. They're not liable if you accidentally close it and bend your card in it. The user assumes all liability if this product is used in any way that is beyond the purpose of storing cards and gaming accessories. So, be smart. Made in China. Dex protection. You got the kind of decks right there. Got this lady with blue glasses playing cards. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, 2015. So this is from 2015, I'm guessing. And if you have any questions, go ahead, contact them. They're in California. And uh, this is the Proline deck box. Uh, deck S box. Perfect for standard size cards. 66 by 92. And the ultimate castle for your cards designed for those who are serious about protection. So they have protection in their name. They're super serious about it. So let's just go ahead and see what it's about. Right off the bat, I got like this purple one. It's almost showing up blue on my camera. But uh, in real life, it does look purple. I don't know if I have to mess with my color settings. But that's interesting. And it does have the red interior. I can kind of hear something moving around in there. It's got some kind of fake leather some pleather on it very nice uh, fingerprints aren't showing up on it which is good uh, some deck boxes do have fingerprints showing up when you touch it so that's good it got a good grip to it not sure what this texture is it's made to mock some sort of fabric almost reminds you of the inside of a car something like that really like the nice trim on it got the red trim in there I see a bit of glue right there so it might be held together with glue yeah I can see some glue in the seams but overall uh, feels pretty good. I'm not sure if it's just thick cardboard underneath this or wood. I don't really feel like ripping it apart to checking it out. So let's just go ahead and open it up and see. And uh, obviously all sides are the same. And you can tell how to open it by looking for the red kind of inlay. So just go ahead and flip it up. It's a pretty, pretty sturdy magnet on there to be honest. Definitely sucks it out of my hand from about like uh, an inch away. Interesting. So nice little click. And uh, right off the bat, you got a silica packet in here. Uh, I don't know. I'm not really sure what those do. Maybe keep it dry or something like that. Uh, you got Dex protection right here, kind of gold embossed on there. Kind of really nice. It makes it feel lush. Got like a red carpet kind of feel. Very, uh, uh, what kind of material is this? Like very soft material right there. And then you have the two compartments in here as well. If you put the deck box like this, the top of it kind of makes it fall over. It doesn't really want to stand like this when it's closed. I assume you could use this without any of these in here if you wanted to. And probably put just like a whole lot of guards in there. 
but today we're going to be checking it out with these compartments in here. So kind of like a thick fabric right here, very sturdy, this feel. Um, yeah, nice red interior. Interesting feel. I don't know the type of this material. There is a little bit of bubble right here. So the fabric hasn't been adhered completely. But I don't think that's going to be a problem. I don't think anything's going to catch on it. Both of the interior boxes have the same coating as the exterior of the deck box. Just a slight bit smaller in size. Uh, very nice feel. Fingerprints don't show up. And like, like the red interior, definitely feels like a luxurious product. And feels honestly quite sturdy. Not too much bend when I'm giving it a squeeze. And this smaller deck box feels even more sturdy when you hold, squeeze it from this side. A little bit of bend right there. Seems very sturdy. So anyways, let's just go ahead and fill this up with some cards and see what fits in here and what doesn't. First, I kind of want to start with the small little container just because. So it says you can put like dice and stuff like that in there. So I just have a bunch of dice in here. And uh, uh, it does fit. That was kind of sad. It didn't fit from this angle. So you can put some dice in here. So good. They do fit. The 20 side dice. How many do I have in here right now? Uh, this is uh, seven. It fits seven 20 sided dice in there. So go ahead and put seven dice in there. And uh, pretty nice. And this fits very snugly. So I got the dice in there. Give it a shake. Let's see if any of them somehow make it out of there. And. They did. They made it out through this little hole right there. <laughs> so that is a thing to keep uh, weary of. I guess you could take it and put the little thumb hole against the wall this way so the dice have nowhere to escape. And uh, yeah, the dice stayed in there. But if you keep it like this, and I guess you put this box in here, I think the dice could jump out through this little hole here and possibly go into uh, the other compartment. Let's just see. And you can see uh, dice uh, traveled here, even one landed over there. So just keep that in mind. And let's go ahead and dump these out. But it does fit the 20-sided dice, which is nice. Get one more dice in there. Because the 20-sided dice are quite big, and not all deck boxes can fit them. So it is very nice. I do have this Mojo Digital Life Counter. Let's see if it fits in here. It does fit in uh, horizontally a little bit, a little bit of an angle, but it does fit in. Very cool, wasn't sure if it would fit. Let's see if it fits in this section. Fits a little bit better in this section here. You put it in like the little sideboard section here. Nice, it does fit there as well. And then I have some tiny little uh, life counters. They do fit, they fit perfectly fine. Probably fit a couple of those and also some dice as well. So it does fit quite a bit of things in there. Very nice to see that. And now let's get on to some cards. I tried some accessories and I just want to see what kind of cards fit in there. So I have a bunch of decks I'm going to bring out. I have uh, some 60 card double sleeve decks. I have two of them. These are both double sleeved. And then I also have two 60 card single sleeve decks. I'm going to set these here. Let's go ahead and make some room. Double sleeved over here. Single sleeved over here. And then I also have just a whole lot of unsleeved land decks. I have six total 60 card land decks. So I'll be bringing those on as well, just to see how many cards we can cram into here without sleeves, even though the box said, don't cram more cards in here than uh, we suggest. So I have a whole lot of cards to test. The first thing I wanna do is, uh, let's go ahead and test just uh, unsleeved cards. This is 60 uh, unsleeved cards. Wow, it fits 60 unsleeved cards in this tiny little compartment right here. So if you're going to like a draft or something like that, or just have an unsleeved deck, you can actually put uh, 60 unsleeved cards in here. Awesome. So I'm just going to be testing to unsleeved cards first, and then we'll move on to single sleeved, and then onto the double sleeved after. So 60 uh, unsleeved cards in here. You could honestly probably squeeze in about like 10 or so more, but I don't want to do that right yet. Since I assume I can fit 60 in here, I can assume I can fit 60 in here. And yep, fit another 60 card deck. So right now, two decks in here, unsleeved cards. And then here is another deck. So this is 60. There is 120 in here. And then, so right now I have four decks in here of 60 card unsleeved cards. And, and I can honestly fit more. So let's see, I can probably fit 120, maybe 150. 
I'm guessing like 150 unsleeved cards in here, to be honest. Because I did, a th uh, what is this? One, two, three, four and a half uh, 60 card decks. Quite heavy. Then I'm going to actually just put these in here. Let's close it up. And let's just see if it opens up. And if you can see, it clearly did. <laughs> and it made a mess everywhere. <laughs> Okay, well, let's just try that one more time just to see. So I did have to shake it pretty hard, but when I did shake it, it did explode everywhere. All right, give me one sec. Let's just fill this up again. Really like the feel of this box. Feels very sturdy, though. Good build quality, really nice. What is this, suede? I don't remember the name of this material, but it's everywhere, very soft. It looks luxurious, like a red carpet feel. If you hold it here and you shake it of course nothing's gonna happen but I'm putting my hands on the side because this is where the magnet is I don't I'm not a huge fan of magnet clasp I do like uh, like the ultra pro satin towers where it literally like clips in but this give it a shake and it does open up and let's just like spin it and yeah so if you do drop it let's just do a drop it's possible it could open I don't know <laughs> making a mess over here but it is just a magnet so uh keep in mind it is possible to open i did get it to open and i do shake it just a couple hard shakes but pretty good to be honest pretty good most of the time you're not going to be shaking your deck box like that because probably it has cards in it that you really like in backpack travel or something like that um i don't expect it to be opening up too much unless you're really just like shaking your backpack absolutely crazy so it fits quite a bit of cards in here it fits 160 card unsleeved deck in here also fits another single 60 card unsleeved deck in this little side pocket right here and then inside the center i i would say it fit about 150 cards i got uh was it three fit in here or one yeah no two and a half fit in here so about 150 unsleeved cards i would say so quite a good amount of cards in there for the unsleeved land cards and uh, got my land decks out it's been a while since I've had to use those next I'm going to check out the single sleeved cards so I have some two I have two single sleeved decks in here it does say it fits 75 single sleeved cards I believe in this first compartment here let me just cross reference hold up to 75 cards uh, First compartment, I believe this is the first compartment, 75 double sleeve cards. I'm not sure if it's 60 and 15 or 75 and extra. We'll see. So uh, this is 60. I'm going to just count out 15 and combine it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So these are 75 uh, single sleeve cards. 60 cards are going to fit right in here. So 60 in here. And uh, can we put the other 15 in this same compartment? And it looks like it. Honestly, 75 cards fit uh, perfectly fine in this first compartment here. You could probably squeeze in maybe like 10 more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let's give it a squeeze. You could, you could squeeze in 10 more. So you could put in 85, but it is quite snug in there. It is quite snug. The cards aren't going anywhere. I feel safe about them. I really do. So, uh, yes. Now I want to see how many fit in this section here. So there should be 30 cards. Oh, no. There should be uh, 35 cards in here. Honestly, it fits like 35 cards exactly. Because I took out 15 and I took out 10. So right here, 120 cards are fitting here. Two single sleeve decks pretty much fill up this whole thing. I actually need more single sleeve cards, so let me grab in here and see. Oh, I'm making a mess. And just uh, let me grab out some more deck. Here we go. Let's see. So uh, here is another 60 card deck. Let's just see how many cards fit in here. I'm gonna do uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 30. So just 30 cards, and let's just see if 30 cards, 30 single sleeve cards fit pretty good in here. I could maybe fit in five more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, so uh, like 35 single sleeve cards fit in here. 
35 single seed cards fit in here. These are like the same compartments. Uh, and then I was able to fit 60, 75, uh, 85 cards in this section right here. Pretty crazy. Um, wow. So let's go ahead and fill it inside of my box and give it a shake. Even though I know the answer, we all know what's going to happen. I don't think they're going to spill out as much as the unsleeved cards. Honestly, pretty impressed with the magnets. The un these ones don't want to fall out as much. Honestly, I feel the unsleeved cards, since uh, they have more wiggle room in here, as compared to, it's kind of hard to, oh, I just noticed something. It's kind of hard to get those out of there without tipping uh, the box itself. So how are you supposed to get these out of here without tipping the box itself? Um, kind of funky to get them out, honestly. Wish there was a little grip or something here. Kind of have to pinch it. If you put it in like this, and they both have the thumb grips here, can I get it out that way? You just want to pull the cards out. Kind of hard to get them out of there when they're very full, to be honest. Interesting. And if you tip it, you do have the chance of spilling cards like I did just a second ago. But one thing I do want to say is, since these sleeve cards have more height to them they fit more snugly inside of this container so there's not much more room where they can move up and down whereas the unsleeved cards have more room where they can move up and down kind of giving a more jostling effect which is why I think it was easier to open up this magnet deck box when shaking it with unsleeved cards because there was more room and more weight to shake around when these are very snug in there very flush with the top there's really not much room for the cards to kind of jostle around and try to open it up so put this in there one more time I fit a whole bunch of cards in here very surprised how many cards fit they say don't overstuff it but I mean come on if you want to use it go ahead and use it Honestly, it doesn't feel like it wants to open. That's very impressive. Yeah, I'm having a hard time getting it to fail with uh, the sleeved cards. Well, I did get it to fail, and the cards didn't go everywhere. But honestly, I had to shake it pretty hard. So now let's move on to the double sleeved cards. And uh, I don't know if I have a third double sleeved deck in case I need it. We'll see. So let me get these out of here real quick. Alrighty. Honestly, pretty impressed how many cards it fits in here. Pretty nice little deck box. And then let's just go on to double sleeve. Actually, yeah, let's just go on to double sleeve. I think I do have one more double sleeve deck somewhere. I could grab it if need be. So uh, this is 60 double sleeve cards. And uh, double sleeve is probably going to be thicker. Well, it is thicker. But honestly, could I still fit 75 in the front compartment? Let's count out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So right here, 75 cards. Let's see if it fits. Very snug. That's a little tighter than I want. There's really no wiggle room at all. It fits better with 75 single sleeve cards in there. And I'm guessing that 30 will fit in this compartment. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 30. So I just got 30 cards right here. Again, 30 cards fit in there pretty well. Uh, I don't really think I can fit a couple. I could fit a couple more in there, but I don't really want to. So again, 30 more will fit in this compartment as well. But I think there's just, uh, what is that, 15 in there. Yeah, so I could fit 15 more in there. So wow, uh, each of these compartments hold like 30 single or double sleeve cards. This compartment holds about 75 single or double sleeve cards. Double sleeve cards of 75 is quite tight in this section and then does fit very nicely in here. There's not a whole lot of movement with the sleeve cards. It's very flush with the surface. There's not a whole lot of jumping up and down when in transit. When with unsleeved cards, it fits a whole lot more, but there is more kind of jostling up and down because there is a difference in the height. And uh, very hard to open up this container. You really have to shake it pretty hard <laughs> to get it to open. And uh, unlike the single, unlike the unsleeved cards, they don't really spill out like crazy because they are quite tight in there. And uh, yeah, the last thing I want to check is just if uh, some deck boxes fit in here. Just because I am curious. 
and some of you might be as well. I don't have a whole lot of deck boxes, but I'm going to try what I have. Let me just set these all aside. Got cards everywhere. So this is just like a Magic the Gathering deck box. I want to see if this fits in here. Obviously, it does not fit in here. Will it fit inside here just like this? Yes, it does. So you could honestly just take this out. Probably fit two of these deck boxes in there. Let's see if this gold one fits. This gold one does not fit in there. Just a classic kind of Ultra Pro deck box, a tiny one. Will it fit inside of this container? No, it won't. But you could fit like two of each of these deck boxes in there. Maybe two and this container here, no. So you can honestly use this with other smaller deck boxes. Uh, no way a satin tower will fit in there, no way. Uh, I'll show you, but there's no way. And I don't know why you'd wanna put a satin tower inside of here, unless you're going for crazy deck protection. And uh, yeah, let's just see, I got two of these. So you honestly can fit like two of these kind of open up deck boxes in there. Very interesting. So overall, Let's just go over what I think. I feel like it's very good quality. The magnets, magnets are stronger than I thought. It was a lot harder to open it with sleeved cards. That's because I was saying uh, the unsleeved cards have a lot more room to shake around, kind of easier, giving more strength to hit against the lid when it's closed, easier to open it, and it does fit, spill. It fit a whole lot of unsleeved cards in there. Each of these containers holded like uh, 60 unsleeved cards. And in here, I think it held 150 unsleeved cards. If you're using sleeve cards, this container can hold 75, and each of these can hold like 30. If you're doing double sleeve cards, 75 double sleeve cards fit quite fit uh, fit quite uh, snug in there. So keep that in mind. It's a little tighter than I'm happy with. It does fit a bunch of double 20-sided uh, dice in here, which is nice. I wasn't sure if it would fit. There is a little bit of uh, resistance at this side here and both of the sides but the dice do fit in there and keep in mind like I was saying if you put them in there and uh, the U right here is not facing the wall and you give it a shake the dice more than likely will travel throughout the container but if you have cards pushed up against there they're not going anywhere so just keep in mind the dice can migrate if given the chance uh, the Mojo life counter does fit in here as well um, these little life counters as well fit in there. So you can put a lot of stuff in there. Really good room. Really like the feel of the exterior of this product. Kind of a latexy faux leather feel. I think everything is held together with glue. You can kind of see some glue in the seams. This is purple and the inside is a very kind of like nice finished material, very smooth. Uh, I don't feel the cards will catch on anything in here and it doesn't pick up fingerprints. It feels like a very kind of a luxurious looking product. It's got this gold kind of embroidered right there. And yeah, very just clean. Not too big. Uh, nice, nice set. I don't think it's meant for like commander decks unless you sort of put a exacto knife and cut out this section here. Otherwise, you're just going to get like uh, 75 and uh, 30 right there. I mean, you could put commander cards in here. Just keep in mind, it's not going to be all in the same section because commander decks have 100 cards. So this is more for like a 60 card deck and sideboard, I would say. But nice compact design. Uh, I like the feel of it. I like the look of it. And uh, I'm not a huge fan of the magnets, but they are a lot better than I expected. Anyways, uh, that was just my first little overview, review, and uh, checking out this uh, deck box from Dex Protection. This is the Proline Dex Box 75 card plus. And I just wanted to open it up with you all, check it out, see what it's about, see how many cards fit inside. I hope this video was helpful to you and a nice little review. Let me know what you think about it and thanks for stopping by and have a wonderful, beautiful day.